Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and today we're looking at some Town Hall 10 minor attacks. Um, this is something that I've been seeing a lot more lately, uh, not just at Town Hall 10, but also some Town Hall 11 attacks. Uh, but really, uh, the important thing for Town Hall 10s to uh, realize is this is another thing that you should be, you know, having in your tool belt that you can go to. Uh, depending on the layout you're facing because you have bowlers, you have Valks, um, you even have like dragons and Laloon attacks to an extent on very specific bases. Um, so this is another good thing uh, depending on the base to look at and uh, a lot of it comes from setting things up right with your kill squad uh, because miners are kind of miners, there's not a whole lot to their deployment and you kind of just drop the heals on them as they go. Uh, that is oversimplifying it a little bit but for the most part, the, the setup in the attack comes from your kill squad, so that's the most important thing. And uh, we're going to take a look at two attacks, talk about kind of how the kill squad goes in, uh, how the miners go in, how those two different parts of the attack coincide, and uh, really how you deploy these types of troops. So anyway, uh, we're looking at Ragnarok. I'm told that's how you say it. It's not Ragnar okay, it's Ragnarok. And uh, he's coming in here on number 8 with a minor attack, Dro goes ahead and drops the uh, golem to tank for that point defense and uh, typically you want to get at least one inferno tower taken out uh, with your uh, little kill squad whether it's a queen uh, push with like some healers or just kind of a traditional kill squad with a golem, the king, a few valks and he goes ahead and trusts his queen that she'll shoot over the wall, it doesn't bring a jump so the queen is basically the, the only troop that can access that inferno tower because it's set back behind the walls like that goes ahead and send the, sends those miners in really early and that's how you want to do it. Send them in kind of adjacent to your kill squad on kind of the same side from just a slightly different angle because that way the two different things, the kill squad and the miners, they tank for each other so you get better value than if you send them in on a completely different side of the base where the defenses aren't doing anything anyway uh, because that way nothing is really tanking for each other, you're not getting any value like that. Uh, so sends the miners in on the same side as the kill squad they make their way through and uh, one thing to note is that the inferno tower isn't quite as important uh, as it is in like a bowler attack or something because the miners can get healed uh, when they go underground so as long as they keep moving the inferno tower isn't that big of a threat now obviously at town hall 10 it's always the uh, the thing you want to look to take out the the quickest it's the most important building those two inferno towers but still um, they're not, they're not going to make or break your attack in some cases because uh, the Inferno is the last thing to go down, uh, but you can see here uh, everything else is down, so it's not much of a threat. Uh, the Queen will go down, but the Miners will make their way in, and they'll take it out uh, for the 3-star. So awesome attack to Ragnarok. We're just going to take a look at one more replay. Uh, don't have a ton, but you'll see more of these in the future recaps and stuff. Uh, so anyway, uh, taking a look at Lenny, and um, sim similar base to an extent. It has those Inferno Tower compartments. Uh, they were so popular at Town Hall 10 that bowlers can't uh, reach, so a lot of people use that. But anyway, comes in with the uh, Queen Walk this time, just has two baby dragons for the funnel, and going to send in the Queen on kind of a Queen Charge here. Um, another great thing to do, just come in there, um, get that one Inferno Tower taken out, because it's going to be difficult for your miners to deal with two Inferno Towers. Uh, one is typically manageable, but two unless you kind of have a leg up on the base in a different way, uh, you're going to have some trouble with your miners. Uh, so drops in the hog for the CC lure. Um, pretty, it should be pretty obvious that your miners don't want to deal with the CC. It'll just slow them down, they'll lose the heal, they'll be air troops which they can't target. Not a good idea to have them deal with the CC troops. So poisons up everything in there, pops the queen's ability, that level 40 queen goes right through the king and the golem, uh, and the balloon goes down to the poisons. So anyway, that's all good. Uh, Queen's going to keep moving through. He has another rage for her, so he'll rage her up in just a moment. And you can see these people aren't bringing jumps because they don't need to. So, you know, don't bring the jump unless you really need it um, because you can bring a heal or a rage, which makes a big difference on these attacks. So, sends in that kill squad right there. And they're not going to get in there and get that inferno, but he doesn't care. He's clearing out uh, buildings for those miners. He's making a nice little runway at the top there them to go right down the throat of this base, right down the little middle chute, get there, get the Inferno Tower taken out, um, and really the Inferno is not going to do any damage to those miners, it's only level 1, and even if it was higher level, the Inferno Tower alone typically doesn't do it, there's usually splash damage or some you know high level point defense 
that gets everything taken out. So the miners do kind of ignore uh, the Inferno just because it has that little moat around it. Uh, so he did a good job with the final, he just couldn't quite get the uh, enough miners there because those two that are on it will get taken out. Uh, so that, might, or that Inferno is going to have just a few hit points left, uh, but the Queen, everything else is up. He did a great job funneling and has a ton of troops left over, so those miners will go back up. A heal spell to swag, uh, crush this base. Um, but anyway, those are the basic uh, things. Guys, you want to send in those miners on the same side as your kill squad. Uh, get in there, whether it's with the queen walk, split hero, or you know one solid kill squad. Come in there, get an inferno tower taken out. Typically, the aim to get the queen or uh, some of the heroes, the defensive heroes taken out, and of course the CC troops. And then from there, uh, send in your miners on the same side as either your kill squad or your queen, or the same side as something, so you get some value there, things tank for each other. That always helps in attack. So uh, that's kind of the basic stuff. I might have another video at some point explaining this more in depth. Uh, but that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, good luck with your minor usage at Town Hall 10. Um, definitely something new. Start practicing now. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.